the Zen teacher's in. <laughs> if they have this hermit sign, the hermit is in, don't bother the hermit. Well, wait till it, I don't know. You know. Yes. Can, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the song? Kanzeon, Namu Butsu, Yo Butsu Uin. Kanzeon is um, the one, it just means his sounds, really. Kanzeon. Here's the sounds, and, but, and it's a marvelous thing of like, let's listen right now and hear the sounds. And then it hears the sounds of each other. You know? Like, it, it, there's something about the kindness that's in the awakened mind, in that, like, oh, we hear each other, and we try to listen to each other, and we care. So there's a, na- we don't like, it's not, you don't really work at the compassion thing because you can get away from it, you know. And it doesn't stop you from being whatever character you have, you know. Um, you're, if you're fierce, you'll still be fierce, but there'll be a kindness inside it, you know, a warmth inside it. So, you know, there are forms of kanzi on that have fire coming out of them, they look like Pele behind me, you know swords and skulls around the necks and things. Oh, yes, that's the deity of compassion. <laughs> we can tell that, can't we? You know, if you get something really hard and difficult happens to you, it might liberate. So, Kanzayong, Namu Butsu. And it says, thought after thought. You know, so, is Kanzayong, basically. Thought after thought is kanzeon. Kanze, so all of it's really, it's just dharma, you know. I mean, it's just boring old dharma. Your thoughts are all kanzeon. The thought you didn't like, the thought you loved. It arises in the mind. It is the mind. There is no other mind than the thought arising in the mind. Like that, you know. And it's, ni- and it's a nice thing that the tradition of the Kanzai on the ten verse Kanon Sutra for eternal life. <laughs> so it also gives you eternal life. But, um, and um, but you can tell there's that Kohen like teaching inside it. And, um, and it's used, uh, as we were talking, it, it's the one thing, if you can only chant one thing at a funeral, chant that. Yeah. Because it's the crossing over sutra. You cross over into, onto the other side, into through the bhadas, into in what light and realm. You know, however you understand that, but it's like, you know, I chanted for oh, the old sheep that died, I chanted Kanzan for her to help her across, you know. <laughs> And reborn as a bigger ship next time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I actually kind of liked her. She was, but she wasn't a sociable creature. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and she did have very impressive horns, you know. So, four of them. So, um, yeah, so, but you know, I, you, I've done it often for friends, you know, for, for people who've died and you know the kind of the uh, heart suits is a very good thing to chant to um, but if you can only have one thing the kanzian's got everything in it it's just like the the coin no has everything in it you know maybe you could just go to the coffin and say no <laughs> <laughs> the sufficient sutras and, and very zen attitude but people usually want a little more so give them the kanzian and it's also can it's usually done also at joyous occasions like baby namings and weddings, but it's especially effective for crossing over. I found it so. I found it like, if I'm missing a friend who died, the Kanzan will help me through, you know. And that's what ritual is for. It's not superstition. It's something to help hold the soul while we're going through transformations. And that's why we do the ritual. To, you know, it's an old custom in our universe to, you know, if we can do it, I'm so glad that people, enjoy, like, you know, we do that. If you do a line close together, you start hearing each other, and I don't know if it's my voice or your voice, and, and Kanzian's voice, it's actually Kanzian's voice, you know, 
But after thought, is the mind, which is interesting, right? they said the Kant, Kant just a whole philosophy on this issue as well. You think you have a mind? No, you just have all this scramble of things. You know. <clears throat> is that the same as the heart mind? Thought after thought is the heart mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's that Shin character that um, I don't know around here somewhere, but probably something like that. Yeah, it's. Um, I'm doing it to you, not to me. Okay. Um, and it's a four-chambered heart, actually. If you look at the old seal characters, it's a four-chambered heart. You know, mm-hmm. The ancient, like 2,000-year-old characters. But then it got, you know, shortened to just like it was kind of. It's got a little, you know, atrial fibrillation in the modern characters. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Ah, DP's got. Got it on there. there there's a seal character. Show the seal character there. Right. That's the ancient seal character. Yeah. The, this one looks like you can see the heart. Yeah. Yeah. So if we and everything we perceive is that, per, how is perception linked to thought? Well, it kind of is, isn't it? You know. The it. it it's saying it's intermingled. Thought is just one of those things that we perceive, you know. Percept after percept is the mind. Uh, I like. I think thought is thought is more, less clinically um, attempting to take you away from things and just be in it, you know. And uh, thought after thought, it, it's thought moment. It's then the thought moment. The thought moment. Thought moment, nen nen, it says. And nen is the thought moment, you know. And it's really the thing that happens too quickly for you to grasp, actually. But, you know, like that. Yeah, I think you understand that, yeah. You know, the two people who are in a, should always be in a, a Zen temple, or the people who could be in the Zen temple, the figures in the Zen temple, there's actually often not a Buddha. You know, but you've always got a Kan. Kanzion would be a nice person to have. Or Monjusri, who's the emptiness dude. You know, he's the, the in the palace of the empty world. You know. But Kanzion is like really important. You know. And so we have a Tara on the altar who's a Kanzion. You know, I always try to make sure to have, you go to have a session, it's good to have. Would have the lady around, you know. And Alakadesha, of course, has masculine and feminine forms and things. You know, people do deity yoga with that, uh, particularly with Avalok, with lots of people with Avalokadesha. And so you visualize and then become, it melts into your mind and the deity yoga. Then you are. Comes on. But you know, you don't have to do the exercise, you just are comes on. Like, look, look at your hands. Look. Whose hands do you think they belong to? Whose hands who do, who do they belong to? Yeah. The expressions of the Tao. 